Hey, welcome guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Crypt Zone and you are watching The Beast Inside and this is going to be chapter 6 and um, yeah, welcome to the channel man and welcome to the game for the guys who are following this game um, this should be a good one, it's back in the past and back in the dark so uh, I hope it's going to be nice and scary so uh Without any further ado, let's get to it. Chapter 6 The judge tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for the man in the top hat and mask. He killed Judge Norton right in front of me. He cut his throat. It looks like he was trying to save me. But why? Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. These voices, there are so many of them. Wait, wait. I, I think I've heard this conversation before. Those people, they said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, looked for the judge. If he was interested in missing people from the area, he might know something about my father's disappearance as well. Maybe at the reception desk I can find out his room number. Okay guys, um, it seems like there's a little piece that's missing. Uh, when I finished chapter 5, um, after stopping the video, I just went in here to save the game. And there were two ghosts that were standing around here. That was talking about the judge that was murdered. And that is the voices that he's talking about. So you didn't miss much. Just that there were two or three ghosts standing here talking about the killed judge. Judge John Norton, father's former associate. Is that possible? I've just witnessed a crime from a decade ago. I'm getting lost. Memories and delusions all bleeding into one. Seems like the room number is missing. Uh, let's see, it says read. Yeah, that's exactly the same. Okay, so who was Gilman? Why was he looking for Norton? He didn't trust the sheriff. Okay, now let's take the it. Missing judge. Someone has been looking for him. Walter Gilman. Okay. I cannot actually read that. It's too difficult for me to read. Biscuits are watching you. So who's Biscuits? And why is he watching me? It was the janitor who usually kept the reception keys in room 207. So we have to go look for room 207. There's nothing here. Okay. See what is the side. Two oh seven. Maybe two oh seven will be this way. One oh eight. 107 10 Maybe that's biscuits. I'm not alone. Um, 
For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. It almost sounds like the same type of riddle we had when we did the safe box. This constant whispering. Not as creepy as Dead Space, though. But creepy enough. Shall we follow biscuits? Maybe he's leading us to the room that we want. Okay, here we are at the right numbers. 207. I'm standing there. Okay. This inn is so rotten. I can leave this stuff alone and see if we can get that side. What was that? Where did it try to drag me? To hell, maybe? Christ, what have I gotten into? Calm down. Stop being a loony. And an inn full of ghosts. So just chill, okay? But That's why. What the hell is this? It's a sword. Like a slaughter. Good God. Something's wrong here. I 
Better grab that tool and get out of here. This should cut through the chain in the janitor's room. Really? This is so stupid. What's this creepy paintings all over the place? Poor soul. He spent most of his life here, and after death, he's still the inn's janitor. But now for a time. And the guests, from what I can see, are sure to cause trouble. Let's read this. What does it say? Mr. Jacob keeps telling me to lay off the bottle. He says that I'm seeing things, but I swear that it's all real. I drink because I'm afraid. Something lurks in this forest. I've heard some inhuman screams in the trees and howling in the caves. I've seen claw marks on the bark. Mr. Jacob says, calm down, you drunk. You'll scare away the guests. What if they should be afraid? How many people have gone to the forest and never come back? My god, I can hear this howling again. I won't find any rest tonight if I don't take a swing or two. That I want to see, so. Wing B, 106. Okay, cool. I'm not sure where that broke. Was it now at this side? Okay, do I have to cross here? It just looks so convenient. I have an idea that I might have to cross there. Yeah, thought so. I thought so. So I have to cross there. It just looked too convenient, you know? Like, that's what it's meant to. happening here uh, wing A okay Probably the second bloody big boss fight that you're gonna have. The fucking weirdo went to blow me up. Uh, the fucking weirdo wanted to blow me up. I managed to subdue the bastard and lock him up in one of the rooms. My god, watch over you if you ever need to enter the B-wing. The combination to the padlock is anger. Okay. And at the moment, we don't have to go into B, so... Let's leave B at the moment. Yeah. 
Yeah, break everything. That's what you're good at. Okay, A wing 106. Yep, 106 right here at the corner. Let's see, what's this? Fire, uh, 958 West Church Street, Miskatonic Campus, Arkham, Mass. A good way to look at it. It's just a card, psychiatrist. It looks like a business card of some doctor. Soon before the accident at the mine, the relations between my father and his associate became very strained. George was irritable because of the stagnation of his business. And for some reason he seemed to blame everything on my father. Or me. I might have been an insufferable bat. I can't deny that. But he kept calling me a lunatic. And saw my innocent pastimes as deranged. Is it possible that he had brought a psychiatrist all the way here just to get rid of me? Or maybe it was about some other boy. Well, we speculated from the beginning that this guy was insane and that he used to be in some kind of institution and now he's back and all these things are happening to him now and uh, if it's real or not, we don't know but he's definitely a wacko Okay, so where to from here? <laughs> ah, you're for Jack. <sighs> I told you this one. I told you this one was going to be scary. And I've got the lights on today. I don't have the lights off, so... Yeah. This one is scarier. I have no idea where to go from here. Let me see the diary. Then I will to get more than now. The key is his room should be in the reception area, but it's closed. As far as I remember, the key. Okay, we've got that. Gent is dead, looking like a triangle. Working for the there's no time to get nostalgic. I need to find the key to the reception area and then get back there to check the guest registry. Okay. The guest registry. It's stuck for good. That's no use. Okay, why is the gun stuck? Didn't I find the key? I need to find a key. I found a key for A wing. We found a key for this door. So there must be a key here somewhere.
I thought maybe the key would be in this um, room since this is the last key that I found okay Come now. What's this? Examine. A lump of pyrite from my father's mine. Some call it fool's gold, but it had brought considerable wealth to the Hyde and Whitehead families. Shh. I hear footsteps. Nothing further there. I honestly thought I'm gonna find those keys. It's actually not necessary, but why not? I have a feeling I might have to go into um, that B side. Why else would they give us that <laughs> password and so on? Okay, guys, too many screams after each other is getting is making it boring. Okay. Okay, there's definitely nothing down here. I'm gonna have to go upstairs again. I'm missing those keys somewhere. This wasn't closed before. <sighs> We're gonna go there. Yeah, I guess this is what we have to do now. Yeah, we'll see if I die this time. We 
Maybe was trapped in here should actually be dead long ago. But we've already seen in this game the ghosts don't stay dead. see the reason for moving this yep that one's dead so the union uniform was just a disguise it's all getting more and more mysterious okay, what did that letter say John, everything went as planned. Yes, my dearest brother, we have reached the final, the finale of our masterpiece. I managed to procure a uniform from the Union soldiers and get all the way to the northern reaches of Massachusetts. On my way, I have slaughtered three traitors of our sweet land. Those nigger-loving bastards that spit on our flag. I must have got lost in the local woods. Though, and instead of Lowell, I have found myself in some backwoods. Thankfully, God has guided me to the find an abandoned inn where I'm making final preparations while saying my prayers. You know what that means? Yes, God is on my side, brother. He too wants our work to come to fruition. So the day of Abraham Lincoln and his cursed followers are numbered. I hope you have made it safe to Montreal. I trust God protects you the way he protects me. God bless the Confederacy. God bless Jefferson Davis. James W. Booth. Okay. <clears throat> this must be what that disturbed janitor was writing about. Looks like he died a long time ago. Well, I would hope so. Uh, let's go see if we can get those scissors out of him. Not yet. Probably come and get the scissors once we look at those roots. Damn roots again! They seem too tough for me just to break them. I can't deal with it with my bare hands. I need some kind of sharp tool. Told you. We're gonna go and fetch those shears again. Oh, great. What? But he couldn't just get up and walk away. Ah! Let me go! Help! I will relieve you of your life, you Yankee bastard! You can't stop the assassination! Lick him a paper's lies! Splattered the whole place full of blood.
Okay, so in the 300s. Oh man. Okay, why didn't you stand up? Yeah. You were supposed to check every possibility, Norton. You're a judge, and you should know how to bend the law without breaking it. The contract states you can both hand over your shares without each other's consent. I'm sorry, George, but you signed it yourself. I never thought that bastard would try to outwit me, and that his demented spawn would sneak into the mine. What do you expect? The brat cannot inherit. We have to persuade that old fart somehow, or we'll end up with nothing! Did that really happen? Did they plot against my father and me? So it seems to me that guy was jealous. He wanted to keep everything for himself. So they planned to kill my father, probably, or just get rid of me, or... Maybe that's why I thought I was crazy, but I wasn't. Don't know what I was doing in the mind though. September 13, 1854, Blackstone, New Hampshire. Monday, September 11, the sheriff issued an arrest warrant for Jacob Hyde, a mine and inn owner. Hyde is accused of murdering Judge John Norton, who badly wounded and um, passed away upon arrival at the inn. A $500 reward is being offered. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so. He's looking for his father. He just came back. And now he sees there's a, a warrant out for his father's arrest for murder. Okay. So stupid. All I have to do is go back to the reception desk and find Gilman in the guest registry. Yeah, that is going to be a much, it sounds easier than it's going to be. Because the ghosts are trying to kill me. I'm not going to be able to survive this. Which room did the detective stay in? 
The detective was staying in room 203. That's upstairs. It looked like he never checked out. There. Places! The key for room 203 is missing. But maybe. Maybe I can get there from room 202. I must find out how much Gilman knew. Really, you want to go back now? Past all those ghosts. Oh, we just took this way. Yeah, they have these monsters popping up. is closed and we don't know if they are going to follow us again uh, if two or four we want to go this is the room. quickly I need to hide So they are looking for me. From 202, I can easily get to the next room. I need to know how much he has found out. Gilman! Open the door! We need to talk, just you and me. Greetings, Mr. Hyde. Cut the pleasantries. I know what you're up to. I don't really know why you're so upset. I really... You aren't the only hack who thought he could sniff out a scoop. But I'm not looking for a scoop. I just want to sort this out. There's something unsettling going on in this charming little corner of the world. So many people have gone missing. Including your friend, Judge John Norton. I want to find him. Please. That's my sole motivation. You can shove him up your ass! You want to prove I'm responsible for his vanishing, because you're just desperately looking for a story that will get you publicity. The word publicity sounds strange, coming from someone specializing in sweeping things under the rug. Two years have passed since the incident in the mine, and many things still remain unclear. 
People lost their lives. Many others have gone missing since. And you act like it was just a minor incident. It was an accident. A tragic accident that cost the lives of my employees and ruined my business. That's all. Oh, I'm afraid that's not all. Ever since then, people have gone missing in the area. Many people, even guests of this establishment... Enough! I want you out of my inn by tomorrow. You hear me? Hmm. Your daddy was... I hope the detective left something here. <laughs> so your daddy was definitely... Not an easy man. The detective went to the mine that day. Nobody knows if he ever came back. I must retrace his steps. There may still be traces of what happened back then. I vaguely remember the accident, but... Gunpowder barrels? Missing people? What's happened here? My father was a cruel man, I can't deny that. But would he be capable of killing in cold blood? I guess I'll have to go down into the mine. Great. That's just great. I actually thought the game was going to end here, or the chapter. Uh, it seems to me like it's not gonna end here. It's locked. I should look for another exit in this room. In this room? Well... Okay, so I thought there could be a hidden doorway. <coughs> Normally the chapters doesn't take this long to finish. So... Uh, yeah, I actually thought we we're going to be done with this chapter now. I don't think we're going to do much more. Are these guys going to follow me or chase me out? Oh, I don't know. Most probably. Now the door is open. Oh man, what happened here? This can't be real. This looks weird. Quite um, thick change this one. Come on, there we go. Ah, there's a lot of these bottles, paraffin or whatever. These roots are here again. Okay, but this is where we were. I must have lost my mind. Yeah, this is the entrance to... Okay, did you honestly lose shears? Really? I thought I was just gonna cut my way through here and just get out of here, but... Ah, oh, shit. the store and this window is locked. <sighs> I have a feeling I'm gonna run again. Mm. 
Is it... Is it only in my head? Oh yeah, you can take the chair <laughs> while standing outside the... Yeah. Give you some kind of a um, Silent Hill kind of vibe for some reason. So much blood. I thought maybe it's going to burn the place down with this chapter. Maybe it still is, I don't know. I think I'm going mad. goodness that's over shit anyway guys up to this point and no further I think I've had enough so if you guys like this video please uh, remember to give me a thumbs up please subscribe to this channel and uh, if you want to see more of this kind of content remember to hit that bell icon and then uh, I'll be seeing you then on the next one cheers <laughs>